Hi, I'm Zoe Ness. Hi, I'm Beth Ettel. Hi, I'm Lauren Briggs, and this is our journey into football. All three of you have touched upon the fact that you did a lot of travelling, both in England and, and abroad, and that must have made some, some great memories from your time at Durham Sestrian, which stand out for you three? I think we'll all have like definitely funny memories and definitely different memories for different tournaments or like weekends that we spent away. Um, Gothia's got the Gothia one. Cup, yeah. Gothia's got the top, I think, of all of our lists. Yeah. yeah. Can you talk us through that one then? We'll take the first year we, I think we went there and didn't really know what to expect and ended up at the final and I think the second year going back we kind of realised the hard journey that we'd gone through to get to the final because the second year we didn't do, do as well and the third year, I think the first year again was just the unknown and we the stepped in. The first year we were like under 15s weren't we but yeah. I mean half of our team were like younger. Yeah and then we were playing like two games a day. It was, yeah. it was because I don't think anybody really knew who we were. Like we were, we were representing England, but like we were still like not heard of. And then we ended up like going to the final, playing in this huge stadium. Like it's a lot to digest as a fifteen-year-old, sixteen-year-old, even really even younger. Old. Like best a year younger than me, Zoe. So like she was already a younger one, but there was people who were younger than her. Um, great experience, obviously the second year. Just so amazing that experience. Yeah. I think back, I mm -hmm. was like unreal. Like. You, you were there for a week, you know, like obviously like in a hotel and everything together and that atmosphere, that atmosphere like the whole of Gothenburg was just football. Yeah. I and mean, when you're that age, you're like just absolutely loving it. Like I suppose it was like an international, it yeah. felt like you were on international duty. Like for me, obviously I got injured in one of the years that we were there. Was it the third year I got injured? Yeah. Like I didn't, oh. and obviously I like, I had an ACL injury um, and that was just like awful. Because at the, at the time, I was probably like, and we knew another girl who used to play for Sestri called Jess, she did her knee, but there wasn't, it wasn't really out there really, I didn't know anyone who had done it, so it was a big, it was a life changing experience for myself because th like three, four years on I was still injured and well, it's only been this kind of season that I've integrated back into the first team, so for me it was a different experience in third year, but it was, it was also difficult for the girls because it we were so used to playing with each other, like you, we would know what one another was thinking before they even thought it. So taking I suppose a key element out or a key, a key component to a fine tuning like machine, it was difficult for the girls to adjust I think. So the first year was definitely that. Yeah, so, so it was so good because all, all of our family are friends and like we're all, we all get on great and like we, we had downtime, like free time where we could just go and explore. And at, like at a young age, just being able to go out and just go to the theme park, and I still go back to like one memory that sticks with me is Blackpool. <coughs> Blackpool, oh, Blackpool, 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 Blackpool yeah. got popped on the tram lines. Oh yeah, I can't remember who yeah. kicked it, but no. well on the beach. Uh huh. If you remember that ball getting yeah. popped. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> how did those experiences abroad at home, playing in grassroots football, how have they helped you progress up to the WSL and playing at this elite level? You appreciate it, you, I don't know what it is now in terms of tournaments for the younger grassroots teams, but I don't think you can beat them. I think definitely some of the, <coughs> the best games that we've played and then the fun weekends that we've had. Um, but I think you just appreciate it and you know you just now. just learn, don't yeah, like, I was going to say, you just know. playing that much football. Yeah. Like, you just, I don't know, like I think you're you learning like, yeah. to adapt and playing against different types of teams and you subconsciously like understand what a team, how important a good team morale is. Like you're playing against such a diverse amount of teams. Like when you go to a tournament, you actually don't know who you're going to be playing. So obviously, who goes through, who wins. And um, it's like we're playing golden gold. Yeah, like, like game. <laughs> we were. We we had such a strong winning mentality. It didn't matter who was in front of us. We were just we wanted to win always. And. Um, but I think it's so important for the girls who are at grassroots level to go and experience different tournaments because you, it's going outside the comfort zone against going against teams that you're not used to playing, um, and it's a great opportunity. And like it's only now, like where we are now, we look back and think, God, that probably did make us into the player who I am. That experience or that edge that I've got on another component, uh, a competitor, um, going out with Gothenburg or Blackpool or whatever. So yeah, I think it's I think it's really really a really great experience to go on in different tournaments.